this video, I'm going to show you how to use this photo quilt block paired with a dollar store frame and some parchment paper to make you a cute little wall hanging. So what I'm going to do, because I know that these aren't always square and circular like they should be, I'm going to make myself a pattern with my parchment paper. So I am going to come in here with my fingernails and just smooth this out to the edges until I get a pattern that sits down in here perfectly. And the other good thing about doing this with the parchment paper first is if it doesn't fit perfectly, you haven't cut your photo block um, you know, that you've ordered. So I'm gonna do this and I'm also going to mark my top center because these aren't symmetrical. And that way we can know which direction it goes. So I'm gonna cut this out real quick. All right, now I'm gonna lay it back in my frame with my top center in place. And that fits pretty perfectly. All right, perfect. All right, so now what I can do is lay this, I can get that back out, on top of my photo quilt block. I can see through it for placement to get it exactly where I want it. And I think I want as much of the photo as I can at the top because it's got pretty flowers in it. This has got some pretty flowers over here that I want to include in the picture, but that doesn't center them, so I guess we'll go more this way. All right, and that's what's so nice about this parchment paper is you can see where to center it. And now I can just lay my ruler along the lines here, along the parchment paper is what I meant to say, and give that a cut. I gotta go get my Martelli turntable with my cutting mat. So this is not so hard. All right. Because then it likes to slide a little bit. So we'll just reposition it so it's aligned again. Then we can lay this in here, make sure that it fits perfectly. And it does, because we made our pattern to this frame. So now I can just modge podge that in. This is the modge podge I'm using, a satin sheen. I'm just gonna brush that in here. When I found these at the dollar store, you know, I know that they're for vinyl to be put on them. But I was like, oh, those are really cute frames for my photos. So I'm going to start collecting these as I go to the Dollar Tree. Do you know that you can order in bulk off the Dollar Tree? I'm pretty sure I've done that before with some things that I ordered. So I'm going to get rid of that glue glob. That I got on the top of my frame. Keep my top of my frame as clean as possible. I'm going to try to get glue right along the edges so I can make sure that my edges are going to stick. Okay, so let's wipe that off. All right. I'm gonna have to go back and get some more of these because I wanna make some that are quilt blocks and frame the quilt blocks. So that'll be my next project that I do. All right, just smooth that down and that'll just hold that in there perfectly. That just looks so cute. So I have another wall hanging. So now between the other ones that I made, got this little one that I can pair with it and then I also have this one that I made in a different tutorial so I can put these on her wall as a little photo collage here let me show you so that'll be so cute 
All right, see you in the next video. Thank you.